Hello there. I usually despise metas since uh, the patch has kind of ruined it and uh, spread the meta part all over the ground because it pulled it up. This patch is also the reason why I am making this video and uh, while the people are jumping onto the chance to discard the new shield and the breaker, I believe as a humble servant of democracy that these individuals are committing thought crimes. They should be rehabilitated at the nearest Ministry of Truth branch. Now let's go with the biggest one, the railgun. The railgun sadly no longer rails, okay? Actually it does, but there is a condition now. You need to charge it to almost max for it to get to its old armor piercing effects. So the railgun is not a Swiss army knife anymore or well, not as reliable as it used to be. Rather, it got specialized to deal with weak points. The biggest reason you still want the railgun is the hulk and well anything automaton related. Regarding the new changes, I mostly always used it in unsafe mode because I like blowing myself up. So there was no need for me to get used to these changes. You have to charge your railgun now to even get rid of the walkers, the shielded devastators and the tanks. Against bumps though, the charge up kind of feels bad. It's still usable, but it's more of a situational weapon now. Uh, the situation being how many melee units are trying to spread you around while you're charging. The last nerfed support stratagem, shield. A uh, shield is still incredibly useful because every time you get hit you stagger and your aim goes all over the place. Uh, you also get inflicted with injuries and all the fun stuff. So when dealing with bugs and automatons this backpack will tremendously help you in a pickle especially on higher difficulties. You are going to feel the change depending on how prolonged your firefights get. So. You can no longer survive Vietnam with it, okay? But you can survive some smaller firefights. The lighter now evolved into an actual flamethrower. Uh, more or less. I mean, this weapon has a limited range and uh, it can and will set both you and the enemy on fire. And last but not least, you can use it to kill chargers. This weapon was never really that useful, but it still doesn't uh, stun all the hunters or the small bugs, so they are still going to be jumping on you like fireballs. The laser cannon, right. So depending on your preferences, you might entirely abandon the real gun for this. Uh, I don't like this weapon. That leaves the last two stratagems, which are the 120mm and 380mm artillery barrages. Uh, these are still random as all far. One time it will eradicate a whole nest, the next time it will eradicate your whole team. So you will have to rely on RNG when using these. And now the weapon changes. Breaker got nerfed. I don't feel the nerf. Nerf not found. They did up the recoil on it, which now makes it feel like a pumpy shotgun that pumps so much damage into your enemy that he melts units. So, you know, the Punisher changes. It does a lot of damage, but Breaker still does more because it's an auto shotgun and it's more useful in any situation. Breaker spray and pray is now no longer a meme. It can actually kill something. I mean, what do I say? It's a fuck breaker specialized in smaller units. It's a breaker, it breaks its enemies. There is two more official patch note changes. The armor values got fixed now. You know, I thought this was gonna change the gameplay in a sense that our armor was always zero before this. But I quickly realized when watching a guy that uh, plays with heavy armor, that heavy armor actually doesn't matter. Because at the game's current state, you are better off being faster and lighter on your feet than slower with a lower stamina pool and a lower stamina regeneration rate. Uh, this is simply because everything in the game will try to run towards you to kill you and putting distance between you and the enemy will either keep you from getting shot at or getting eaten. 
this change does not impact the gameplay at all if you play the heavy armors before the changes rolled out now you will have some more survivability if you decided to handicap yourself hello i didn't mean it i am not including the uh, newest patch because it's just a rebalance it does bring one significant change here and you should see it somewhere around here so the forgotten change expendable anti-tank weapons and uh, recoilless rifle shots will now no longer bounce off off of heavy armor uh, if shot at an angle that's all the changes i hunted down on discord yeah thank you for watching and have a great day